We're talking about domestic violence, and the guest is the executive director of Ujima House, uh, Ms. Uh, Jarrett. And of course, Ms. Jarrett, let me uh, pick up where we left off the last time uh, and give you an opportunity to continue uh, some of the reasons and some of the causes or the consequences of uh, domestic violence as you see them uh, from uh, your uh, position as the executive director of Ujima House. Well, for instance, a woman can come into the shelter mm -hmm. and she is mentally abused. Well, she has to go to a psychiatrist mm -hmm. and she's in, in counseling for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. Then you have the children mm -hmm. who are traumatized. Mm -hmm. They're in counseling for a long mm -hmm. time. Now, that's not to even excuse the fact that she may have a broken bone, okay. broken mm -hmm. leg. All of that has to be attended mm -hmm. to and then they have to be seen after. So it, the health care cost goes up. It mm -hmm. really goes up. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of uh, these broken bones and broken legs and et cetera. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Do, uh, uh, do you, so you find that there's an increase in the number of folks that are coming to you? How do people generally come to you? Uh, do there's they... a 211 number okay. that they can call, and I'm listed on the 211 number. Mm -hmm. The Department of Domestic Violence with the Metro Police Department has my number. Okay. So they call me, too, so mm -hmm. I'm easy to get a hold mm -hmm. of. Uh, and then just by word of mouth, the other agencies, uh -huh. the other uh, shelters will uh -huh. refer people to you. Uh -huh. Now, wh wh what would be a situation, uh, could you give, sort of give me a rundown of, uh, of, of situation that you might have of individuals who will come into you and, and, and how they came and some of the things that you were able to do for them? Well, num number one, the, uh, if a young lady calls okay. and if she's in danger, then I will go and pick her up from wherever she is. And uh, to keep her out of danger and nobody know, I will mm. have her go somewhere uh -huh. that's away from her house. Okay. And then or I'll send a cab to pick her up, mm -hmm. to bring her to me. Mm -hmm. And then we do our processing of her, and mm -hmm. then we'll take her to shelter. Uh -huh. Now, once they get in shelter, and I do things a little bit different than they do in okay. other shelters, I want to know what the woman wants to do for herself. Okay. Mm -hmm. then you need to decide what you want to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. If it's go to school, if it's get a job, what do you want to do that mm -hmm. will make you feel whole? Okay. And then that will take care of your children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once we figure out what that is, then I will help her okay. accomplish that goal. Mm -hmm. And I will keep her mm -hmm. until she accomplishes that goal. Mm -hmm. Once she accomplishes that goal, then I will help her find a place. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she can move out. Well, this seems to be a lot of sort of hands-on kind of uh, personal is. kind of things mm -hmm. that uh, should keep you. Well, how many people are you able to counsel uh, in, in, at the Ujima House? Do you have a, a I, set My shelter is very small, uh -huh. very small. In fact, uh, uh, I'm thinking about starting a, a building campaign uh -huh. because it's only 800 square feet. Uh -huh. So it's the smallest shelter in which, the city. Which means when you say, I, I, I don't I have, have... one family. You have one family. If I have a family with teenagers, okay, that's it. Uh -huh. If I have a single woman, I can take another single woman with two kids. Uh -huh. That's it. And that, that's the extent of, of well, uh, it, 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 and did you do believe that since you've been involved in what you're doing, that there's a tremendous need oh, for yes. more space? Yes, uh, I, turn down people, that, I turn down five to six people every day. Uh -huh. Every day. And these are people in, in a real they're sense who, real who are not being served right. unless they go to some of these other areas. Right. And, they are, and they're full. They're full. And yes. So it's a lot of we folks. We're always looking for more space. There's always a lot of looking. folks in Nashville. So you, do you believe that domestic violence is, is a real problem in Nashville? It's a, it's a big problem mm -hmm. in Nashville. And I don't think, I don't think really everybody knows how big it is. Well, let's it's, talk about how big it really, is. I mean, it's, it's, now, you have three shelters here. Okay. And out of the three shelters, Right now, today, all of us are probably full. Uh -huh. So now, if all of us are full, then uh -huh. where is she going? Okay, uh -huh. the person who might need right. assistance or help. Where are they going? Uh -huh. So Nashville, as large as it is, as it is uh -huh. needs not only more than three shelters, uh -huh. but they need to have larger shelters. Now, if I was a little larger, because uh -huh. see, my funds are... Neil, mm -hmm. uh, if I was a little larger shelter, then I could help eliminate a lot of that backlog. Mm -hmm. But since I'm so small, I can't. The other ones are a little bit larger than mine. Mm -hmm. The Y has the largest, but mm -hmm. all of us are full. Very, and, and all of you, in a real sense, in comparison to the need, all of you are very, very right. small. Right, right. In a real sense. Right, well, absolutely. Do, uh -huh. do you think that there's a, a consciousness in reference to the uh, leadership in Nashville? Uh, that 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 will not allow uh, for the development of for the uh, funding of these kinds of uh, organizations or these shelters or what? 
I don't think if the leadership is uh, not allowing it, mm -hmm. I don't think they really know that there is a need. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, that uh huh. I think that's what it is. I think it's lack of education mm -hmm. of the need. And because a lot of people, uh, domestic violence is just like AIDS when uh -huh. you talk to people about okay. it. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. They don't want to get involved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, it's and, just that simple. And, and which means that a lot of folks are right. not served. But as long as you, and I think you've already connected it to health right. and all of those other right. costs, and et cetera. And as long as Corporations we Corporations should be the first one to get online uh -huh. uh -huh. because they're losing employee time. Uh -huh. Uh, they're uh, losing, they have to stay at home with their children, okay. they have to stay at home because they had to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Corporations suffer a lot mm -hmm. with domestic violence, whether they admit it or mm -hmm. not, but they do. Mm -hmm. They lose a lot of money that uh, way. Well, well, is there any way that uh, the organizations that do concern themselves with domestic violence can come together or have come together to try to look at uh, the overall picture? Because if you're dealing with one family, Mm -hmm. and somebody else might be dealing with more. Well, they're probably mm -hmm. not dealing with more than five or six families at mm -hmm. a time, which means that we only have facilities maybe for 30 families, and that, and that might be stretching it in a real Well, sense. no, I think the, the mm -hmm. wire is a little bit larger uh -huh. than that. They, uh, they mm -hmm. have, I think they can house about 70 people. About 70, uh -huh. 70, 70 and people. And they the largest, yes. 70 people, but yeah. then, of course, when you break those people out into families, families, you really yeah. got a very, very... Yeah. Well, but... Um, and, and I might be wrong. Those, mm -hmm. may, those numbers, they don't ever tell you how mm -hmm. many it is. It, the, I may have the mm -hmm. wrong numbers, but uh, I but don't know. But it's apparent that there's a need. that there is a need, uh -huh. yes, yes. And, and, and your purpose here today is to try to at least dramatize right. the need that you have as right. well as others have. Right. And perhaps get some kind of support. Uh, right. To, what would you say to folks that, that, that would indicate that you need some, some, some additional help? Uh, I need some money. You need some money? Is mm -hmm. that, is, the money, mm -hmm. would, uh, money, money, money. Money does not solve every problem, but money, but money would, so, would, would, would start my would start, problems uh -huh. eradicated. Okay, very good. Yes. Which is to say that you would need money to build, expand build, your... Build, that's uh, right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And number one is to get staff, because uh, I'm the only one there. You're the only person that... Well, now, really, we... Uh, over the last 25 or 30 seconds that we have before the end of this uh, 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 second uh, section, uh, segment, we really don't have much considering our population and our size and et cetera, mm -hmm. and considering the problem that mm -hmm. this might cause, mm -hmm. we really don't have anything dealing with the domestic violence mm -hmm. in a real sense. Is that what we're saying? That's what That's I'm saying. saying. That's general? Okay, That's and of course, we'll, allow, we'll expand upon that after this uh, final commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience for this very short commercial break. The topic is...